Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through the angle difference identities uh, proofs for them uh, for both sine and cosine. And there's two things we got to know before we start. The first is that we have to know that sine theta is an odd function and that cosine theta is an even function. So if I start with sine theta on this plot here, you can see that for an angle, let's say we have sine of pi over 2, we know that that's 1. If I take sine of negative pi over 2, then I get negative 1. So what you can say then is that the sine of a negative theta, so the negative pi over 2, is equal to the negative of sine theta. So in this case, sine of negative theta is negative 1. It's equal to negative of sine theta, which is 1. Right? For cosine, if we look at this plot now, we can see that I've just drawn an arbitrary angle theta. So theta and negative theta. You can see that the cosine of negative theta is up here, and the cosine of theta is up here and they're the same value. So a cosine of negative theta is equal to cosine of theta. So that's one important thing. The second important thing to know is to recall the angle sum identities that I proved in my other video. So if you want to take a look at that, uh, I'll post the link in the description. Okay, I'm going to start with the sine uh, angle difference identity first. So we have sine a plus b. This is the sum, the angle sum identity from my previous video. I'm keeping it the same color as the previous video. So it's sine of a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus sine b cos a. Okay, now let's substitute in because we're trying to see what sine a minus b is. So if we substitute in an angle b is equal to negative d, then what we get is, substituting in for the b's here, is sine of a plus negative d is equal to sine a cosine of negative d plus sine of negative d cosine a, and that's what you see written here. And now I am going to use the, uh, the odd and even functions for cosine and sine. So you can see I just wrote this without the uh, plus sign here, so we have sine of a minus d is equal to sine a, and then cosine of negative d is cosine of d because cosine is an even function, and here the sine of negative d is equal to negative sine of d, so that's where this negative comes from, times cos a, sine d, uh, sine is an odd function. But the d is any arbitrary angle, so we can just plug in b just to get it back into a normal a, b angle situation. And so if I just plug in b's for all the d's here, I get sine of a minus b is equal to sine a cosine b minus sine b cosine a, and that is the uh, sine angle difference formula. Now let's do the cosine uh, angle difference. So we're, here we're looking at the angle sum identity for cosine, again from the previous video. Cosine a plus b is equal to cosine a, cosine b minus sine a, sine b. We're going to plug in that angle b is equal to negative d again because we're looking for cosine a minus b. So we plug that in here, cosine of a plus a negative d is equal to the cosine a, cosine now of negative d minus sine a, sine of negative d. And we're going to use the odd even, so even for cosine, odd for sine and we come up with cosine of a minus d is equal to cosine a, cosine of negative d is equal to cosine of d, and then this negative becomes a plus because sine of negative d is equal to negative sine d, so the minus becomes a plus and we have sine d here, and again d is any arbitrary angle, so we'll just use b again instead because we like to keep it neat, so cosine of a minus b is equal to cosine a cosine b plus sine a sine b, and that uh, concludes this video. In the next video I'll be going through the both the sum and difference angle identities for uh, tangent, so thanks for watching.